Some athletes go to battle for fame, fortune, or glory. But every time UFC Bantamweight Marlon Chito Vera steps into the octagon, he is fighting for his family. Chito shares the story of his daughter, Anna, who was born with facial paralysis due to a rare condition known as Mobius syndrome. Her birth lit a fire under Chito to succeed, all for the purpose of seeing her smile and providing his family with the very best life possible. Chito shares his incredible story in our first installment of Fighting for More. The very first UFC fighter from Ecuador, Marlon Chito Vera. When Anna was born, everything changed. From that moment on, everything I did was for my daughter. Really, his motivation for fighting is his family. A very tragic story about his daughter, which hopefully he can raise the money to get that sorted out and bring a smile to her face. I'm Marlon Chito Vera, and I fight for my daughter's smile. Here we go, guys. You ready? You ready? Let's fight. When I was in fifth grade, my father moved the whole family to Guayaquil, which is a big city. Maria was in the same uh, school. She was in a different classroom, but, you know, same ages. The first time I saw Chito, I fell in love with him. It was like love at first sight, but he, he didn't even like look at me, whatever. Like he was kind of popular, let's say. And I was just like, a, another, another girl for him. <laughs> I didn't realize she, she liked me. Before we started dating, we were actually really close friends. One day, we just kissed each other, and everything almost like took off from there. Like, we started dating, and then I got kicked out of school the next year, of course. When my family met Chito, I think they were not too happy about it, because he was a troublemaker. And it is what it is. <laughs> I was in love. <laughs> Eight months before we graduated from high school, she got pregnant. I got pregnant with Anna when I was 16 years old. I got really scared. I just started like, not even crying, I was like shocked. I told him that I'm pregnant. And we were just looking at each other, no words. I was like I don't know how to do anything. I'm a mess myself. And now I wanna be a father, I'm Luckily, my whole family support me, her family support her, and I think that helped us to kind of like grow our wings. The day Anna was born, my mom took me to the appointment like to check if everything was okay. So the doctor told me like, oh, there's something wrong here. If the baby doesn't born today, you and the baby can die. I was grappling and my phone was nonstop, bro. Vibrating, vibrating. So I pick up and say, like, hey, what's up? And it's like, we're going to the hospital right now. Baby's coming out just run like a madman to the hospital. Anna was in emergency C-section. She came to this world at 8.30 p.m. Once it's over, the baby passed by us. And I saw Anna just by me, and something just hit me. I was like, she's not good. Something's going on. The doctor came in, and he's like, OK, guys, there's definitely something going on with her. It's not Down syndrome, but we're not very sure what condition she's born with. And everybody in that room was just like looking at each other like I remember before when they did the imaging and everything and to see her, everything was normal. How is happening? Why? Why to us? In the happiest day of your life, you receive the worst news. The kid is born with a condition and there's nothing you can do about it. That just broke me. 48 hours after she was born, we figured out Anna had Moebius syndrome I was confused. We were all confused. It's like, what is Mobius syndrome? Universally, if you have Mobius syndrome, you cannot move your face or even actually rotate your eyes outwards from middle. It's an incredibly rare condition, somewhere on the order of one in 50,000 to 100,000 people might have it. We don't know why Mobius syndrome happens. There's nothing genetically linked to Mobius syndrome that we know of. A lot of families think, well, what did I do wrong when I was pregnant with my child? Or did somebody in the family have it that sort of passed it along through the genes into this child? There's a lot of unknown. I didn't know what Moebius syndrome was. We went to Google to check what's called Moebius syndrome, but there's little information about the syndrome. And 
you can find there the worst case scenarios. So we just start talking, like, we need to give her the best therapies, the best life that she can live. It doesn't matter how much money we need to give her the best life, but we need to give her the best. One of the things that include that it was the surgery, to see her daughter's mouth. Everything just changed in my mind. The way I see things, the way I approach things, this hunger came out of me. I was like, from now on, nothing is about me and nothing will never be. I gotta make things happen for my daughter. I'm gonna win fights, I'm gonna make money and pay the surgery for Anna so she can smile. I was never gonna win a world title fighting out of Ecuador. The first factor was like moving to the U.S. and going to tough. I was probably the shittiest fighter out of all of them back then. But they just didn't know the drive I have. That was legit. Wow. estoy un poco cansado, pero fui fuerte. Y lo logré, lo hice. Tranquilo, eso es tu inspiración, ¿sí o no? Es un momento único. Y es tu hija, carnal. Lo primero que haré estando en el UFC es pagar lo, lo que mi hija tiene, ¿no? Porque. Nunca, nunca la, la, la he visto sonreír y, y es lo que, por lo que estoy trabajando en esto. When I was in the Ultimate Fighter, that was a great opportunity. But then I got a really bad skin infection. Bueno, en los últimos días no me he estado sintiendo bien. Me han salido muchas ronchas en esta parte de la cara. Tengo todo el cuello lleno de eso, la oreja. Tengo mi espalda llena de eso y, y no sé qué es eso. This is primarily an inflammatory condition of the skin and also the internal organs. It's probably not a good idea to fight right now. Okay. Sorry. When they give me the news, I cannot compete. The first thing I thought was like, I'm not going to be able to provide. I'm not going to be able to do what I promised I'm, I came here to do. We don't want you to fight if you're not 100%. Uh, obviously, this is a huge blow to you, you know, not to be able to, to, to move forward and possibly, you know, win the ultimate fighter. But we will absolutely, positively bring you back and you will fight in the finale. Thanks. Thank you, boss. You're welcome. He decided to give me a chance. That was just like seeing light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, making the walk for his UFC debut. What a story, so touching and so emotional, and, and, and you see it in his face. Marlon Chito Vera! The goal was just be a UFC fighter, keep on fighting, keep on fighting, and just putting the money aside, putting the money aside. Oh, look at this, Vera, the triangle attempt here. Now attacking with the R bar, he got it. tap, Chito Vera! I'm here because I, I will make the surgery for my daughter. I am not going to stop till I see my daughter smiling. That's my reason. I'm here. I'm here to stay. We heard the corner of Vera say, do this for your family. Hopefully they can raise the $50,000 or so required to have that procedure. Hit him with that round oh. Everything was about that kid be able to smile and make sure we do that. Cheeto's moved to the US. He's brought his family over in December as well. And that is really his motivation for fighting. Oh, huge head kick there from Vera. And that is it. When I was in Ecuador, I was by myself. I was with really good people, but it wasn't enough. Today, I have really good people in my back. And thanks to this, I can provide for my family. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Cheeto Vera. Eventually, one day, we can make this happen, and we call the doctors, like, hey, doc, we, we got the money. When I met Cheetah for the first time, he was very much focused on his child. He was very much focused on getting his child the best care 
he can possibly get. Anna's presentation was pretty much the standard presentation for Mobius syndrome, which is to say that both sides were completely paralyzed. She just cannot move her face. So how are you doing, sweetheart? You doing okay? Yeah. All right. So just we'll review it a little bit right now, what we're gonna do, okay? Smile surgery is also known as facial reanimation surgery. Basically involves moving another piece of muscle into position and allow that muscle to now function in place of the missing muscle. This is a long surgery. It can take eight to 10 hours to perform. To say they were nervous is an understatement, obviously, but we were ready for her. I mean, this is what we do. The day of the surgery, it was like my soul was out of my body. In a way, it was the worst day of my life because, you know, you're putting a kid under anesthesia. You're fully under, and pretty much they're ripping your face off in order to make this happen. I was just very scared for her. I was like, what if this goes wrong? Because there's a chance. It was a long day. It was probably the longest day of my life. Anna's surgery was an absolute success. It went smoothly. We had no complications. Uh, she did actually quite well overnight. Anna was so swollen after the surgery that it was shocking. I know Cheese is really strong, he's tough, he's a UFC fighter, but he was pale. I almost faint. It was just, as a father, it just shocked me to see her like that. It was basically a week until the face went back to normal. And seeing this smile for the first time was pretty much the best day of my life. Uh... We did see our daughter smile, that it was the most important thing in our life. But I believe that Anna came to this world to give that purpose to Chito. Like, no matter what, I'm going to be there just to see my daughter smile. That was his main purpose. He's in this position now because of Anna. Like, Anna pushed him through that. Like, every sacrifice that he made for us, it's just worth it. It was a lot of pressure, you know, going to a fight knowing I'm not just fighting for money. I'm not fighting for recognition. I'm fighting to pay a seriously for my daughter's smile. I moved two years ago here. I moved on myself. I left my family in Ecuador. I make some money over here. My daughter was needing the surgery, but guess what? I get that shit done, baby. It was like, that is, and that will be the biggest accomplishment of my life ever. This kid can do it all. He trains hard, he's super dedicated. It has been an absolute joy to watch him rise to prominence and superstardom. When you work hard, when you do everything to win, when you put everything aside, Life gives you a good victory. He was born for this. He was built for this. This is who he is. He's out of the Cruz is down after a huge shot. And Chino ends it. Wow! He is taking fighting for his family to another level. Marlon, Chicho, Vera, ladies and gentlemen. ¿Tú sabes qué es lo, lo que más me gusta de ti? Yeah. Tu sonrisa. Oh. <laughs>